All right, everybody, I would like to show you how uh, by using uh, YouTube Live on Air, we can live record any lesson that we're teaching in our class today. And in conjunction with the page marker extension, anything we write on the screen will also be recorded. So this is very useful for students who are not in class. They can view it live or students who are not in class and they can view it at a later date. And it's also great for students who want to review the material um, before an exam. And now they have that uh, archived class to go back to and take a look. So the first thing you're going to need to do is log into your Google account and then log into YouTube. If you have a Google account, you have a YouTube account because they, uh, they belong together. They're owned by each other. So you're going to go ahead, once you've signed in, you're going to go ahead and click on your image. If you don't have an image, it's going to be uh, initial for your name. And you're going to click on it. And you're going to come down here and click on the cog wheel to open up your YouTube settings. Now, once you've opened up your YouTube settings, if you've never been here before, it's going to ask you to create a channel. Now notice down here it says create a new channel. I don't need to do that because I already have a channel. The channel is only there to have a location for your videos to drop. It's like their landing page. And, and you can also share your channel with your students so they can review these. Or you can just keep your channel a secret and then share the individual videos through Google Classroom. But once you have a channel, your screen's going to look just like this. And you're going to want to come down to the bottom of the page, the bottom of the page right down here where it says view additional features. That's what you're going to want to take a look at. So once you click on that, it's going to open up kind of your grid of everything that you have. There's a few things you want to make sure that you have already pre-made. Number um, a preset. One is you want to be able to say that your live streaming is enabled. And secondly, you want to make sure that your longer videos are enabled. Now, if it's not enabled, when you click on enable, it's going to ask you to give YouTube your phone number so it can send you a verification code. They're not going to use your phone number for anything. It's just so that they can text you the verification code to know that you're an actual person and the person who this account belongs to. If you don't do this, then your screen recordings are only going to be allowed up to 15 minutes. So if you're uh, talking or your project or your activities longer than that, it'll cut off if you talk longer than 15 minutes. So you want to make sure that your longer videos are enabled. Once you've done that, you're going to see that you have your live streaming enabled and your longer videos enabled. So there you are. You're good to go. Now, what do you do from there? Well, you can see off to the side, I already have my creator studio already opened up. If you haven't been to your creator studio, it's just you click on your, fa uh, your face right there and click on creator studio and it will take you to your creator studio. From there, you want to go to where it says live streaming. So now we're going to live stream. Now from live streaming, you're going to select events. And I know that's kind of confusing because don't you want to stream now? Well, if you choose stream now, you're going to have to actually do this whole setup of downloading encoder software, setting up the stream. That's a lot of work. We don't want that. We want to do it nice and easy. So you're just going to select events. And once you selected events, you come over here to the right hand side where it says new live event. And you're going to go ahead and click on that. When you click on new live event, it's going to open up this window and it's going to ask you some questions. So what is the title of this video? Well, you're always going to title it the name of your um, your lesson that day, the lab that day, whatever you want to talk about. So I might be titling this how to set up a live podcast. It's going to be today and now. And even if you're not going to do it right then, you can set this up ahead of time. You're still going to select now. And I'll tell you why in a minute. But here's another big thing you have to understand. You need to make sure that you are selecting quick. Now, it's already selected as quick, but you want to make sure that 
it's not selected on custom. That will ask you to bring up your encoding options. You don't want that. That's too much work. Make sure it's just saying quick. Now, that's all you need to do. You need to click on quick. You can put a description in if you want. You can put a tag on it if you want. But basically, this is all you need to do. And you click on go live now. It'll ask you're ready to go. And you click OK. Now, if you've ever worked with Google Hangouts live on air, this is exactly what it is. It's just that they brought it over into the YouTube realm. And actually, the setup of this is much easier than it used to be. Now, it automatically starts with a, uh, a live shot of you. Now, we don't want to record the students. We don't want to record ourselves. What we want to do is record our screen. So in the upper corner, you're going to see a green icon. That's our screen share. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And it's going to ask, do you want to share your entire screen or certain screens? I always go ahead and select entire screen. And now I'm going to click share. Once I click share, you're going to see what's called, I call it the Star Wars screen. That's like putting two mirrors in front of each other. It goes boop, 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 all the way to the back. Now, from here, there is a button that says Start Broadcast. So if I go down there and select Start Broadcast, my broadcast will begin. Now, when you select Start Broadcast, you don't want to keep this window open because this window is just your recording window. When So I'll, I'll show you. So I'm going to go ahead and select Start Broadcast right down here. It's going to say you're about to broadcast, and you click on Okay, and it says you can broadcast for up to eight hours. So if you just want to broadcast your entire class all day, more power to you. But I, I recommend you stop after you're done with your lesson. And once you click OK, you can see down here it says starting, and now it says stop broadcast. So we're broadcasting now. We're broadcasting live. You do not need to have this screen open. All you do is come up to the upper right and lower the screen. Now – Anything you do on any web page on any part of the screen is now going to be recorded. So I can open up. So if I'm doing math, I can open up a blank screen and just start showing my students math work. And the students that are live viewing this will see that live work. If you're doing a PowerPoint, well, hopefully you get away from PowerPoint and use something more like a Nearpod. But if you're doing a PowerPoint, it's recording you talking and you writing and you going through those. If you're doing a Nearpod, they can see the slides going through or they can even join your Nearpod and they can follow along with you while they hear you. But here's the power that I find. I'm going to go ahead and bring up my Star Wars screen. And I want you to see that up here in this upper corner, it says invite people. This is an extremely powerful button because if you click this, and you invite a fellow colleague who teaches science with you, you're now broadcasting to his class and his voice is being broadcast to yours class. So now you can have co-teaching within the same school, within the same district, within the same state, within the same country, or even abroad. This is an amazing opportunity for us to get out of our classroom, open up our walls, and share what we're doing not only with the community, but with other educators and other students alike. And so you can invite anybody that, uh, that, that you know their Google email with. It'll send them an invite. They'll click on it, and they'll join your live session. And all they do is broadcast on their screen what you're doing. Their kids see it. They talk. It's an amazing opportunity for us to get collaborative learning together with teachers and students from across the globe. Thank you for listening and have a great day.